<laughs> Why are you being a Woo! Good morning, world. We have just left Nanny's house. We spent all morning packing the car again <laughs> and trying to rearrange to make some more space, but it didn't really work. In fact, we have less space, and I've got bags on me <laughs> and bags at my feet and everything. So, good job we bought the roof box because we would be in rather a situation right now if we hadn't had that. So we just got too many Christmas presents. It is a lovely bright and sunny day today but it is quite chilly, it's only three degrees. We are now heading over to Jay's mum's where we are going to spend our last few days. We are also meeting up with Caroline and Helda and little baby Gabriel this morning. So looking forward to that or we're meeting them for lunch. So we're heading back over to do that as well so that'll be nice we have arrived at the pub we wanted to go to my mum's house and drop off all of our stuff but they're out at the moment and I didn't think to call earlier to find out what their plans were so now we've got all of our stuff in the car which always leaves me a little bit uneasy the CCTV hopefully that helps <laughs> <laughs> Ian's with us Story of the baby is fully wrapped up. <laughs> you little angel. <laughs> also, I didn't take into account really that it was a Sunday, and that means that all of these areas are going to be packed. There's nowhere really to park, not many places. Let's hope there are some tables. We've sat ourselves down at the butler's retreat. Again, I completely forgot we have Eden with us, so we can't go inside. But it's okay, we're fully wrapped up and we found a nice sunny table, haven't we, yeah. Cess? It's actually quite warm. It's not too chilly. No. Also, there is a bush here which is protecting us from the wind. Story's enjoying her biscuit in the sun. <laughs> yeah, we're just looking over the menu here. Got some nice options. They've got some vegan stuff, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. tofu and butter bean hot pot. Hmm. And hummus and falafel wrap. Yeah, that sounds nice. Mm. Eden's down there, being a good girl. <laughs> we are having a change of location. We just met with Carolina and Helda and Gabriel, but we are heading somewhere else because we have Eden with us. Eden isn't allowed in that cafe and it was just too cold to sit outside. So we've decided to go to another pub, which is down the road, and we know that dogs are allowed inside that one. So we can hopefully find a space there, have a nice lunch. It's so busy everywhere today. Everyone's out. I think it's a lovely sunny Sunday, but it's just so cold. <laughs> Hopefully Jay will find some space at the next place. Yeah. We'll find a nice table to sit down and have a good catch up. <laughs> we are just driving through the forest now to get to the next pub, we're going to a place called the Owl. We come here quite often actually, most times when we're back because it is nice. I am worried it's gonna be busy though. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're just rearranging our stuff. So that's just gonna go inside to check that we can still bring dogs in. Very recently they built this conservatory on the outside, so we just wanna make sure. These guys actually have two dogs, so I'm sure we'll be fine. Ooh, who's that story? <laughs> hey, do you remember Gabriel from last time? Again, almost the same size, isn't it, Sash? So this change of location was much needed. We ended up at the Owl Pub down in Epping Forest and we sat in the conservatory section with little baby Gabriel and Story. Both starving hungry so we ordered a vegetarian roast. It's probably one of the best roast dinners I have had in an English pub ever. Really good stuff and it was just lovely to see Story and Gabriel interacting with each other. We did attempt to do a little bit of a photo shoot with them but couldn't get them both smiling at the same time but I think we got something at least. It's always nice to see them together and they look almost the same size when they're sitting in the chairs like that. It's absolutely lovely to catch up with Carolina and Helda. They feel like really good friends of ours even though we've only met them twice and we've just got the same views on life and it's nice to meet up with people that think the same way and maybe we'll see them again in Portugal. Aww. You like that? More cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> We've just arrived at my mum's house now and it is time to start unloading some of the stuff from the car. This is London so 
this house has been robbed before, I don't want to leave anything on display outside, so it's time to start unloading everything. Look who's awake now. Oh, Uncle noticed your biscuit face, didn't he? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, look at look how different the back is to the front. The back is super curly. Why have you got this? Straight hair in front. You can do the Oh, that's nice. This is absolutely ridiculous. Have a look at all the things that we have just taken out into the car, and this is not the end of it either. Let's turn around and show you the rest. And there is more going up the stairs. All of this is currently packed into our Mazda and our box. There is no way I'm driving to Portugal with all this stuff. Far too many material things in my life. I remember when we were about to have Story, we said she's gonna have a couple of toys. That's it, we'll get a couple of wooden toys, maybe a few, a few bits and pieces here and there, and she can just make two and just be happy with what she's got. But when you have a baby and everybody's just, you know, wants to be nice and give you things and it's lovely, but when it adds up, man, does it add up. Too much stuff. I have no intention of sounding ungrateful in any way. It's lovely that so many things have been given to us, but my goodness. This is why we're feeling more and more like we need our own home. We need somewhere we can put things in a loft or put things in our own storage somewhere so that if we do get gifted with loads of things or whatever, we've got somewhere we can eventually put it where it's going to stay. Somewhere that we've bought, isn't it, Sash? Yes. That's, that's why we're feeling the way we're feeling about things. Because this it's like a house move every single time we get in the car now. Yeah. Uncle Omar is feeding Story today. <laughs> Yummy. Right, we're just pouring out some wine that was gifted to us from Sasha's mum. We're going to drink that Prosecco, aren't we, Sash? Yes, we We've decided to consume our consumables before we go back to Portugal so we can lessen the amount of weight and size that we carry back with us. This is the lovely bottle that she got. Oh, it looks nice, doesn't it? And it tastes lovely. Story is being fed by Uncle Omar. Oh, I'm usually in the well, let's see how much is left in the plate. Oh, that's like, I don't know. It was like, it? I think it was here. It was here before. Story, are you being a nice girl? Are you eating? Story. Mm. Yum. Yum. Let's see, let's see. Good girl. Yeah, professional Omar there. <laughs> Good uncle feed. She just recorded this. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is Story vlogging. It's the most. Hey, Story, the turn the camera around. But she needs to turn this on by herself. They might, they, they might be okay. Turn it, it around so you can see your face. TV. But there you go. By things like Story guns. just turned this camera on by herself. What do you have like to say? So, Maybe like Story had a nice evening just pushing around her little walker. She really loves walking with one of those things. It's just Sasha and me here now and Eden down there. Story is tucked away in her bed upstairs. She's got her big bear with her. My mum actually just popped off to the hospital with my uncle because he said his legs were feeling weak and we tried to lift him up and we couldn't really carry him. No strength in his legs whatsoever, so hopefully he's okay. Sasha is just over there editing the vlog for tomorrow. No rest for the wicked. I think she can hear me because she's got her headphones in. I've just made us a cup of mint tea each. Needed it. We actually busted open the white port tonight that Sue had to order from Amazon because they don't sell white port here in England. It looks like Eden's finally settled enough to start eating her dinner. Sash just got a notification on her phone from Carolina. A picture of Story and Gabriel together from the pub today. It's like a picture that should be captioned. Mm. Like, Story's like, whoa, hey! And Gabriel's like, what you doing? <laughs> yeah, he looks so cool, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. He looks really muscly as well. Look, oh. look at his big chunky hands. <laughs> <laughs> he's so excited. Yeah, he's in charge. <laughs> Proper man. <laughs> Look at that sweet face. <laughs> Look at Gabriel's expression. He's proper checking her out, isn't he? <laughs> mm hmm. That's what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Hilda was saying today that he's lived in England since he was 13 years old, and that was the first time Caroline has ever been into an English pub. So hopefully it was a good English pub. <laughs> I think it was quite a good example. Yeah, well, uh, I had a nice time. Yeah. <laughs> Some English pubs can be a bit unwelcoming, mm. but that one's quite nice, quite modern, isn't it? It's the family pub, yeah. You yeah. don't get many 
drunkards. <laughs> yeah, it's quite welcoming. It's a nice place to sit, especially because it was so busy today. But mm. normally they've got a log fire in there and it's a nice pub to sit in like with a hot drink and just have a chat, which yeah. we did. We had a nice catch up. Yeah, and dogs are allowed, so yeah. if you've got a dog with you, you can bring them inside with you too, which is yeah. always nice. So yeah, yeah, good example of a pub, that one. <laughs> the Owl. Oh, good one, that. Yeah. Have you finished your food? Is that where you're standing next to me? Yeah? All right, well, you can sleep by the heater, warm up. Oh, no. <laughs> I see my mum has placed her Story Eden calendar up. We're in January. Nice picture of Eden and Story there when she was a newborn. If any of you are interested in getting your hands on one of these, you can still buy one from 8milesfromhome.com. I've been informed that there's a little bit of a problem trying to order it off of a mobile phone, but on a computer, the website works absolutely fine. So try that out. If not, send us an email and we'll sort you out that way. Hope you've enjoyed watching our little meetup with our friends today. We really enjoyed that meetup, didn't we, Sash? Right, she's got her headphones in again. I'm going to end the vlog. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Look at you. Clicking around, all on set. Oh, no, you are settled. Up on the sofa.